What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with another NFL prediction video. And in this video, I'm going to break down the record and the schedule for the Houston Texans this season, one season after a disappointing playoff loss after the big lead versus Kansas City. In Kansas City, the Texans will come back this year, and there's a lot of questions on whether or not they can get back. And I will give you my answer. If I believe Deshaun Watson and this team can get back to the playoffs and win this division again in 2020. But before I dive into the Texans' schedule for 2020, make sure that you do. Gronk spike the like button. Subscribe to the Bottom Line View for more NFL videos just like this. And comment below your opinion, Texans fans. Let me know in the comments why I'm right, why I'm wrong, or just your thoughts overall. What is their record going to be? Do you think they'll be better or do you think they'll be worse than last season? Let's dive right into their schedule, starting off with week number one, playing the opener, which is pretty special. I don't think the Texans, correct me if I'm wrong, have ever played the opener of an NFL season. So that's pretty cool for you guys. But I'm going to say it's going to be a loss, unfortunately. I think you're going to have to relive what happened in the playoffs. I don't think it's going to be a <laughs> comeback from behind, multi-touchdown comeback by Patrick Mahomes. But I do think that the Chiefs, this is the thing about the Chiefs. They're amazing at the beginning of the year. And there's a reason for this. Andy Reid is special when it comes to September and October football because he spends all offseason drawing up these creative offensive schemes and plays that a lot of people have never seen before or he's never tried. He implements it, and all of a sudden he takes everybody by surprise and everybody ends up copying him. That's why Andy Reid is an innovator. That's a side note, but that's why the Chiefs are very hard to beat early in the season. Week two, they play the Baltimore Ravens, and... This one's interesting. I think they could win this one probably more likely than they would beat the Chiefs here. It would have to be a shootout versus Lamar Jackson, in my opinion. But I'm going to say that the Ravens win. And the reason here is because I just think the Ravens are more equipped to stop the Texans than the Texans are more equipped to stop the Ravens. I think the Texans are better at stopping the run than they are the pass. But the Ravens secondary is one of the few that can play man and shut down the receivers that the Texans have to offer. So I'm going to go with the Ravens there. Week three, they play the Steelers in Pittsburgh. This is a game that they could win here. I wouldn't be shocked if they won this game. But again, this is such a hard beginning. I think this is the hardest September in the league. You play Kansas City and Kansas City on the opener where they're, they're raising the banner. Then you play the Ravens, the number one seed in the AFC. Then you go to Pittsburgh, and you play Ben in that defense. And then you play Minnesota, who's a playoff team last year. That's just, like, talk about what? Okay, anyways, Pittsburgh, I think, is going to win because they're at home. It's hard to win in Pittsburgh. I think their defense is so good. Again, another defense that I feel could actually realistically slow down Deshaun Watson. This just sucks, man. I don't know what to say. Then, then they play Minnesota, and man, they could win this game. I'm really thinking this over hard. I think they beat Jacksonville. Let's just get that out of the way. I think they beat Jacksonville at home, so they're at the very least not going 0-5. I can't see them losing four games in a row with Deshaun. I just can't see that happen. I, I got to go with Houston here, even though you know I think Minnesota is probably the better team. I, I think Houston... I, they can't lose at home with Deshaun Watson, and they can't lose all four games in September. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let them go two and three here. Then they play Tennessee. I'm gonna say they go three and three. They get they get it back together here. Then they play Green Bay, and I think Green Bay. Uh, this is difficult. Houston. They're, they're very similar. You know, they're very reliant on their quarterbacks, their defenses. They they have good things about them, weaknesses as well. I think the Texans are more capable of throwing the ball. Packers are probably more capable of running it. I, I, I think the Packers are probably more equipped to stop what the Texans do than the Texans are more equipped to stop what the Packers do. So I'm going to go with the Packers here. This 
That's a hard one, though. I, I could flip that either way. Then you go to the bye week. They play Jacksonville. I'm going to say that they beat Jack. Uh, yeah. I, will they lose to Jacksonville once this year? I, I don't know. They got to beat somebody, right? They can't lose every game this year. I'm going to say they win, though. I, I can't see Deshaun Watson losing to Jacksonville. I'm sorry. They play Cleveland. I think Cleveland, again, I think Cleveland's a really good team this year. I, I think they can run the ball. I think they can pass it. I think they have a good pass rush, which is going to be difficult. And they have some corners. So I'm going to go with Cleveland. Week 11, I think New England finds a way to upset them. It might be a little biased from my perspective because I am a Patriots fan. So take that into mind. But regardless, though, the Patriots... I, they're not going to lose two years in a row to Deshaun Watson and the, and the Texans and Bill O'Brien. I mean, they've beat them how many times out of how many times? And I don't think Bill Belichick is going to lose a, a second game in a row to them. So that's kind of the way I look at it. You know, would I be shocked if Houston won this game? No, but I, I think that New England's going to win. Who Detroit and Houston. This is a fascinating matchup because that's a really exciting Thanksgiving game because Matt Stafford and Deshaun Watson can just rip it all over the yard and it could potentially be a very fun one to watch, honestly. I'm going to go with Detroit. They're at home. It's Thanksgiving. I like Detroit this year. I know, believe it or not. I think Detroit's defense is better than Houston's. I do. And I think Detroit, you know, they're very they're very similar teams. I'm not going to say that, you know, it's out of the realm of possibility. I think that game's going to be really fun, though. I have Indy winning the first matchup versus Houston, and I have Houston winning the second matchup, or no? No, I have Houston winning the first matchup. Regardless, I don't know, but they're going to split, okay? They're going to split here versus Indy because they almost always do. So there you go. They play Chicago in Chicago. Hmm. Interesting. I think they're going to lose to Tennessee in week 17 because I think Tennessee is going to be in a better position to win and go to the playoffs. I also think that Right about this range, we're going to be talking about Bill O'Brien being fired. So you have to take that into account because I think that's a big possibility given his track record as a GM. Even though he's been a solid head coach, I would say. And I think they'll beat Chicago and Cincinnati. I think Deshaun Watson will get his revenge on Chicago for not taking him in that draft. So there you go. And they'll beat Cincinnati in week 16. So overall, I have them going 7-9. and nine. I, I just can't really say that the Texans will go any worse than 6-10 and 10 because Deshaun Watson's too good of a quarterback. But I really think their their team is just not very good. I, I'm going to be honest with you. If they go 9-7 and seven or 10-6, and six, would I be absolutely shocked? No. But given this schedule, it's a first-place schedule. The first week of the season, you have a big possibility of losing all four games. The first month of the season. Versus the Vikings, the Steelers, the, the Ravens, and the Chiefs. There is a huge possibility you'd go 0-4. Maybe you go 2-2 two two at best, but 0-4 is a big possibility. You also play teams like Green Bay, Cleveland, who I think is good. You play the Colts twice and the Titans twice. You play in Chicago, which although I said they would win, is not a given in December. You play Detroit on Thanksgiving versus if Matt Stafford's healthy, a really good quarterback. So, and you play New England. So, I mean, this is probably the hardest schedule they've faced in a long time. So that's why I'm going to say that they do regress this year, but I wouldn't be shocked if they were back next year and were a better team next year. That's what I have for the Texans, 7-9 and nine in 2020. If you disagree, let me know why in the comments. If you agree, let me know what you have as their record in 2020. Gronk, spike the like button, subscribe to the channel for more NFL, and peace.